Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of World of Contraptions, the game where we build contraptions in a world of challenges that require contraptions to complete. And uh, if you missed all the previous episodes, we have done 25 different levels so far, and they're getting harder and harder as we go along, and we are hopefully going to complete medium three if the challenges aren't too difficult for my, for my brain here, and uh, then hopefully we'll be able to see what hard is going to be like compared to medium and all the other challenges that we've been through. So let's just go ahead and hop into it and hope that I remember how the build system works, because... I'm pretty much playing this game once a week, and it's hard to remember sometimes. Okay, I remember this, uh, this challenge at the end of the last episode. So, it looks like we got some rods, and I think these rods are not static objects. They're loose objects that we can probably just remove out of here. So, I think I have a strategy. This one is low enough that I'm gonna try to just drive over it, rather than trying to lift it up with, like, I can't probably can't insert anything underneath it, but everything else I should be able to insert something underneath. So I'm going to try to build a machine that actually picks them up and flings them over itself. And hopefully that'll be sufficient. All right, so let's just go ahead and clear this vehicle and we're going to start anew. All right, so I got a basic frame of a vehicle here, and I think uh, what I'm going to do is use the steerable block, I guess? Because I don't see something that works like a bearing would in scrap mechanic, uh, but so this is the best thing I can think of to rotate from a single point. So what I'm going to do is put this steerable block right here, and then let's go into... Oh, we got to hook up our engines and all this stuff, of course. All right, so this is the steerable hinge, so I'm gonna have this be shift for forward and control for backwards, and I guess that's how it's going to work. Let's just do it before I attach anything to it. Okay. I think those are all the controls I had. I wish I could make it faster and change the angle, but it doesn't seem like we have those controls on this, unfortunately. Hmm. I don't know if there's a block that we can do something better with. Wait, what if... This will be interesting. What if I just put one right on top of another one? Are they are they going to combine now? That could maybe work. I'm actually going to put three. Wait, how's the structural stability of these? All right, yeah, let's try that. So then I'll go ahead and put this block right there, and then where's the sword? I want to I want to use the sword again. And we take the sword, and we need to change the grid size, and we're going to put the sword on the bottom like that. And let's see. Oh, I think that could work. Let's do it. There we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, this isn't quite working as well as I had hoped. <laughs> okay, retry. All right, I just got to be in the middle. I think this is the middle. Hey, no. Oh, man, it's on top of me. All right, oh, I know what to do. I just need to build a ramp for it to roll down. All right, let's just try that and see how that works. All right, nice and centered. And lift. Oh, that worked perfect. All right, so now this one, this one might be a little bit more difficult to get over. All right, just don't break. There we go. There we go. All right, that one is kind of in the way for everything. Uh oh. All right, well, that worked for that, but this is actually kind of, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. All right, come on, lift up. Now down. All right, last one. Uh oh. Okay, you know, let's just let's just power our way through. Come on, power the way through. <laughs> I'm so close. Come on, just just get there, get there. Yes. Go forward, go forward, just go for. What is happening? <laughs> this mechanism works kind of like a flipper, which I guess is good. Come on, you can do. Uh oh. All right, go that way. Ah, <sighs> ah, <sighs> that was, dude, that was crazy. Why was everything so crazy there on that last one? <laughs> okay, next, get out of here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this anymore. What? Moving walls, this one is called. What is going on? <gasps> no. Okay. Okay, I, I see what I see what needs to happen here. All right, let's just stick with the stock car that we had here. We'll delete all the other stuff off of it, 
And I know what to do here. I think I know what to do here. Is there a center of mass button? Oh, show center of mass. Oh, perfect. Right where I want it to be. All right, so what I'm gonna do for this is we're gonna build up from the center right here. And then we're gonna take the telescopic block. Oh yeah, that should be good enough there. And then this should be good enough there. Yeah, and we're basically gonna apply pressure to hold ourselves up. Ready? <laughs> Control, contract, contract. <laughs> that was awesome. That was so cool. I'm a very big fan of that one. That was like way easier than I expected it to be too. All right, next. Side upper bridges, this one's called. Okay, I see what to do here. This one isn't too bad. All right, so I just basically need to create a, a upper level wheel system that is going to get on this right here. And that's all I need to do, I'm pretty sure. All right, so for this, I'm going to put a piston right here. This piston is gonna be able to extend upwards. And then on top of that piston is where I'm going to attach the other wheels. And I'm gonna do something kind of interesting here with these just for the sake of weight, because I feel like these are too big and bulky and heavy. All right, let's see, how far do I need to go over? All right, so I think if I just put this and a wheel like that, is that gonna be too much? That's actually too much. I need to move that in. All right, and then do that over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these blocks now. And I'm actually going to use, what is it? Where is it? The extendable bar. I'm just going to extend from here over to that and then from here over to that and hope that this is strong enough. And then this is gonna be a guide to prevent ourselves from uh, falling off of the side of it. So hopefully those should be like a buffer to keep us on so we don't need steering up above. All right, let's give this a try now. All right, this goes up. Uh-oh, oh no, this, this should work. Ah! That's not very straight now, is it? That is not very straight. <laughs> Maybe we are gonna need some steering. Yeah, that looks good. Whoa! The wheels were already going. Okay, yeah, right, so that, that system's terrible. I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to extend that and like copy it out so there's four wheels on top and maybe I can have some steering bearings up there too. So, all right, so I'm gonna disconnect this from here. So now this becomes a solid unit, which I can copy and I can go ahead and delete it from there. And now I can paste the whole thing right there. And I'm going to add another block in the front so I can paste the whole thing also right there. And now I'm going to have to replace these with actual steering ones. All right, this looks better. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put it down. And now we can go forward. Oh, that is, that is not stable. I know how to stabilize that though. Oh my goodness, how is this even working? <laughs> what? What just happened? No! Come on, no. No, this can't be how- oh, what? <gasps> I'm inchworming myself in. Come on, pull. We're so close. <laughs> pull more. There we go. <laughs> the things that are happening in this game. Wow. All right, what are we gonna be looking at next? Falling barrels. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I'm assuming that this laser is gonna trigger those barrels to fall and then we just gotta get through the barrels. So let's just load one of my previous ones. Uh, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the six wheel one, which uh, I realized in my last video that I did on this, one of these wheels I think was rotating. Yeah, one of these wheels is rotating in the wrong direction. So don't worry guys, I figured it out. All right, play. There we go. What's gonna happen here? All right, no problem. No problem at all. Oh, no, stop, stop! Momentum. Momentum is the thing that you have to cancel when you wanna stop. <laughs> Physics. Law of motion. 
applies in this game too. All right, yeah, that's no problem at all. Yeah, this vehicle is like, it was like built for that. All right, that was an easy one, no problem. Next, medium three, side bridges and button? Side bridges and button, oh, oh no. Oh, what? Do I gotta drop something off of there? I probably, I don't know if I have to hit it or just drop something off there. All right, so let's go, whoop, not save. We already have this saved. Let's load the vehicle that I did on this kind of course before, which these are like identical. I don't know, I don't know which one of these. I guess this one's more recent. Let's use this one. All right, let's see what happens. We extend these out just like that. Oh, a little bit in. Now what happens when I go over this button? Okay, we do have to drop something off the button, which is no problem at all. I got this in the bag. See, all we use is a decoupler and a block. That's all we need to do. Simple. All right, we just got to drive over this and then we press space and we're golden. As long as my vehicle isn't too wide. Ooh. Is my vehicle too wide for this? Oh no. Oh, I see the problem now. Oh no, wait, I'm not. I have my middle wheels. <laughs> I'm stupid. I forgot. I built this vehicle for exactly that situation. <laughs> I didn't even see these wheels here. <laughs> my past self was bigger brain than my current self. That's what just happened. All right, is this the last medium three? We're on to the hard levels next. We, we breeze right through those medium levels. All right. Hard number one, hit the box. Whoa, we can use can the cannon. I forgot about the cannon until just now. We just have to be able to aim the cannon. All right, let's go ahead and load. Uh, what are we gonna load? I'm gonna load this one and we're going to adjust it so that I'm going to take these pieces off, but I'm gonna reapply right here. And then we're just gonna delete, 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 delete. Delete, 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 delete. And now we have a cannon, which I've never used before. And this cannon's gonna face that way. And we should be able to extend it up. And then we press space to fire. All right. This is awesome. I've never used the cannon before in this game. Oh. Oh. The bridge doesn't come down until I actually hit the thing. All right, well, this is fine. First shot. Fantastic. All right, this is awesome. Oh, right. I've just found out that the cannon has three bullets. <laughs> totally messed that up, so we're going to go ahead and retry. All right. Up. Aim. Fire. And then let's be a little bit easier on the gas this time. How about that? There we go, much better. Much gooder. All right, next, you call that hard? Pff, pff. Climb the barrels? We already know how to do this. We have our six wheel vehicle. All right, let's see if past scrap man is bigger brain. Oh my goodness, go, 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 you can do it. <gasps> it's so close, it's so close. <gasps> I see I just I'm very I'm very uh, future minded. I like to think forward to the future and just build things that are going to last, you know, and they're they're going to be they're going to be future proof and that that's just what this vehicle is right here. It's designed for, you know, who knows what. All right, number 33 pass crate. Pass crate. Pass crate. If I say it differently, it might make more sense. Pass crate. Pass crate. So All right, I see oh Oh, I see now why this one is interesting because we need to get this crate onto this button, but our vehicle is going to be blocking all of this as we go in this direction. So essentially this needs to get onto the other side of our vehicle or, or our vehicle needs to just go over it. I was thinking like, oh, I just grab it and pull it back. But then if I grab it and pull it back, I then still have to go forward through it. So I might have to create a vehicle that has a really high wheelbase. And I just wheel up over here. And then I have some type of 
way to push it back. All right, I got an idea. Let's go into build mode. All right, we're gonna build from scratch on this one as well. All right, so I got my vehicle all hooked up as is, which obviously isn't gonna work in this way, but my plan is I want these wheels to start off right here, but I'm going to attach these wheels to some pistons and I'm gonna use the small pistons, increase the grid size, or not pistons, but uh, telescopic blocks. So then I can put one telescopic block here, one there, oh no. I only need, I only need one, I don't need two. I just have one there, one there, and then check this out. Then I just use the, what is it called again? It's extendable bar from there down to here. This is not gonna work the way I thought it was going to work. <laughs> that's just gonna put, that's just gonna put the wheels up and the vehicle down, not the other way around. So if that's the case then actually, there's another way to do this. So what I need to do now is actually put this vehicle up high enough to get over that. So I should be able to attach it pretty much right here. So I'll go ahead and put the attachment point on that and that should allow me to attach this just like that. All right, so now check this out. Now, if I delete these and then I put those pistons back up here like I did before, and then use the extended, extend, what are these? I keep forgetting, extendable bar to attach from there all the way down to here. Now by default, it's in the position that I want it to be to get over it. And then when I need to push it back, I can lower, I believe the entire vehicle to make sure that this is stable. I'm going to put some braces like this so that these wheels aren't going to flex as much forward and back. All right, so that should, that should do it. All right, so yeah, look at that. It's nice and sturdy. And then, oh, is this wide enough to get over? I think it is. Oh, I don't have steering. I didn't program my steering. But hold on, let me just test real quick, see? And I can put this down and then I'm gonna use this to push the box backwards. Isn't that a cool, that's a cool kind of vehicle, isn't it? I like that. All right, let's put the steering controls in. Now let's put it to the test. Oh, this is like just wide enough. All right, so we go over the box and then we go down. And then we push it on just like that. Oh, oh, come on. No, 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 you stay on there. There we go. And then, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> the steering was sharper than I thought it was going to be. All right, let's try this again. All right, over. Depth, depth perception, scrap man, depth perception. There we go, and now just go straight. Just go straight. <laughs> and, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's like exactly the right width. All right, now what are we dealing with? Side walls walker? I'm not walking, I'm not walking. I'm driving, I'm driving this. This right here is gonna be really interesting. All right, so I just loaded in the tutorial car as like a template and I'm going to, uh, let's make sure that this works as intended, yep. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have something similar to what we've done before. We're gonna have to have an interesting way of steering with this. This is gonna be really interesting actually, the way that this works. All right, so we're gonna build up from the front. I think that should be good enough, up from the back. And then I'm gonna put the pistons just like this. And now we have the interesting thing of making our vehicle drivable sideways on the wall. So I think I'm gonna go with this on the side. We're gonna need another set of engines as well. So the interesting thing is the steering because I do want steering up in front. So we're gonna go steering like that I think should work. And on the back we can just have regular ones. So I think that's gonna work, right? There we go. And then for structural stability, I really, really like these extendable bars. Hey, I got it right that time. It's an extendable bar. We're gonna go ahead and attach this to that so these aren't gonna hopefully wobble with each other. And let's also attach from here. I can attach to, oh, I should attach to here anyway. That's a movable part. I don't want that. Yeah, so let's attach to right there. Here to there. This is just uh, trying to get rid of any possibility of flexing that's gonna make driving this a lot more difficult. So that should be pretty stable. All right, is this, oh, I need engines. That's right, engines. All right, so let's delete that and that and we'll put extra engines right in the middle. All right, so this is gonna be the vehicle. I hope everything is gonna work. So let's go ahead, press ourselves up against the wall here. 
All right, that seems sturdy. Let's go up. Come on. There's a lot of not speed going on right now, but it's working. It's working well enough at least. We got it. No problem at all. Ah. <laughs> Almost pulled off another one of those fail right at the end after I do the hard part maneuvers. All right, level 34. I think we have one more hard level. Uh, there's one level left to complete the group. Oh, it tells you right there. One level left to complete hard one. What's it gonna be? Oh, what moving vertical walls. All right, the, the vehicle that we, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what's happening at the top here? Hold on. Oh. All right, so this is very similar to the horizontal one, but the issue with this is once your vehicle gets up here, you gotta get it onto the platform. Because before the walls just carried me over the platform. This time they're not carrying me over the platform. So let me save what I got right now. And let's load the vehicle. This was pretty much the vehicle that we did that with. Yeah, this was the moving walls vehicle right here. And we just pressed against them. But now we need to have another layer of movement. All right, so here's the idea. The idea is to press ourselves against the pads. And then our weight distribution is going to be all off when we do this. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it successfully. But then once we get to the top, I should be able to press this and move my vehicle forward. I think I need to do that faster. Let's see what we can do with the speed. Whoops. So yeah, let's go linear speed from three. Let's just go 10. I'm going to shoot myself forward. How's that feel? That's not, yeah, that's, that's acceptable. And then we continue driving. All right, let's just do it. Let's do it. Hard mode. Uh-oh, 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 no. <laughs> all right, needs to be higher. That's all, it just, it just needs to be higher. All right, let's make sure that we're in line this time. Where do we have to line up? All right, that looks good. All right, come on. We're much taller this time and our center is more centered, if that makes sense. All right, and what? Wow, this is harder than I thought. All right, there is another control that needs to happen then. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's see, how tall, how tall can I grab onto these things if I even can? I need to grab onto like the very top, right there, right there. Ooh, ooh, oh. <gasps> I just, that, I just, that just kind of gave me an epiphany. I don't need to grab, I don't need to push onto the walls. I need to go above the walls. Oh, come on, out, 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 out. Like that. Oh, lift myself back up. And then forward. Oh, nope, that didn't work. I feel like we're close. I feel like we're close to something here. Ooh, I see a good spot. Right in that little V section. I'm gonna try that. All right, here we go. We go out and that should pocket us and prevent us from like sliding off. Oh, yeah, no, no, don't break, no. That could maybe work though. I'm gonna try that again. All right, here it goes. Come on, catch me nice and smooth. All right, there's some structural stability issues. So let me try to attach right here to right here for some structural stability. And right here to right here. Oh boy, that's not what I meant to do, but the structural stability is there and we're dead. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of stuff I need to pay attention to here. All right, extend. Make sure we're in that rut. Wow. It really, really, you know what? Maybe I gotta lift myself up first before it lifts me up. So I have the upper hand with um with the with the force, you know? I must use the force. All right, so this goes up. I have to remember to pull myself up before it goes up. All right, extend. There we go, there we go. What? It's so violent. That's like, that's, that's it. That's gonna work. All right, this is it. This is it right here. A 
Okay. Whoa! What? Imagine if that worked! Holy cow, that was amazing! I think there's something weird with that uh, hole. I think there's actually like a weird physical thing happening with that with that wedge. Like this. Ooh, the weight. The weight distribution doesn't really work that well. It makes us nose down. This is a really tough one. This is like this is gonna be the last one, and now it's. Am I gonna be able to beat it? All right, maybe we just need to add a counterweight to level ourselves off a little bit more. All right, forward. Ah, uh, no. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, I'm gonna hit. Oh! <gasps> Close! Oh my good, okay. I got it, guys, I got it. <laughs> Are you ready for this? I'm gonna swing myself around and decouple and launch over onto the target. This is, if this works, guys, this is gonna be amazing. We're definitely doing space for that. All right, all right, here we go. Oh no, oh, I forgot, I forgot that does that. Okay, all right, hold on. Oh no, I forgot that the weight is an issue. Can we, can we not be doing that, please? Okay, no, this is fine. I got, we just need to add some stability, but the issue with the stability is it also needs to get decoupled. And then what we can do is put a extender bar from here to there, and that should stabilize it. So now let's see. All right, so now we should still be able to go up. We should just be able to go out, and we're not gonna need to go forward anymore. And if I press space, the whole thing will detach and we will go flying. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go, come on. Oh. The decouplers are a weak point that break on their own. I didn't consider that. Man, decouplers are very weak. All right, come on, stay steady. Or right, one of them already broke, and then ready? Yep, it just breaks. I thought we had it. I got an idea now. I got a potentially new idea. So I almost forgot that these are a thing, the grabbers. So let's go ahead and use the grabber. And how do we control the grabber? Uh, I guess space, we're gonna use space to control the grabber just like we would the, det the uh, detachable block. I'm gonna put the grabber actually, we're gonna do something fancy with the grabber here. I'm gonna put the grabber on a rotating bearing. I hope that this is gonna work. So now the grabber goes on this. And then does that, is that gonna free rotate? I don't know if that free rotates or not. I guess we'll find out. They're not free rotating grabbers. So now when I hit this, no, it doesn't rotate me around. That's what I needed to happen. What, like, do I have to attach a wheel and then attach this onto the end? I can't attach anything onto the end of the wheel, unfortunately. We're gonna use, we're gonna use wheels. Continuous spin. They're just not gonna be hooked into anything. No oh, engine, so I think they should be free spinning. And then we're gonna change these pistons to be much faster so we can essentially let go. All right, here it goes. Nope. All right, I don't know what's gonna happen here, but let's just find out. <gasps> no, no, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. No. No, no, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, what's going on right now? Stop it. Stop doing the weird stuff. Just let me go down, please. <gasps> yes. All right, bring it in. Okay. Okay, we're up. We're up. That was kind of luck, but that was also kind of what I originally intended to do when I first built this vehicle. Oh. <sighs> We did it, guys. We did hard level one. Let's see what we're gonna be looking at for the next batch of hard levels here. Oh no, reach the box. We can use a grabber. This might not, this might not be too hard. Yeah, that might not be too hard. All right, let's go back to the main menu. Let's do a brief uh, glimpse of what the next batch of hard levels are gonna look like. So we did all of hard one. We obviously got this one, we've got one crate for each button. Holy cow. All right, so we're gonna have to just, we're gonna have to create transporting vehicles. One run. I don't know what that means. Looks like we got various obstacles to get under or over. 
Um, wall climb. Okay, wall climbing. We've kind of done something like that already. And side bridges, crate, and button. So we need to transport that crate from one platform to another platform, get across that bridge, and then, you know, we got all kinds of other hard obstacles. Why is this hard? Unstable pillars. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So if you guys want to see more, definitely hit the like button and let me know down in the comments below. What was your favorite challenge in this episode? And if you missed the previous episodes, then you can go out and check. You can go ahead and check those out right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.